Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we found the best moments when toxic women fail to make men simp. Let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Excuse me, um, you wanna bang? Like right now? I'm okay. Oh, y you sure? No, yeah, I don't like those. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, and he has a girlfriend. All I'm saying is this, if he had an aggressive girlfriend, there might have been a fight there. Where should a man take you for a first date? The most expensive place ever. Take me to the Louis Vuitton store. Yeah, take me Louis to the Vuitton. Louis Vuitton? No, no, Chanel. $10,000 yeah. bag, let's get it. Hell no. Then I know you mean business. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're not messing with right. no broke men. Broke but men are so last year. What? Where's my Range Rover? Would you yeah. take a girl to the Louis Vuitton store? Sure. And buy her something? No, I'm not yeah. buying no. Okay. <gasps> Oh, okay, we don't want to go out with you anyway. I don't give a f Keisha. Well, I see a lot of cats in the future. I'm right here. Are you going to get off the aircraft or are you going to sit there and scream? I'm just asking. Because it's, it's going to be your I got to pee. I got to get off of here. Ma'am, I'm trying to... Was the screaming necessary? She almost destroyed my headphones. <laughs> I'll tell you what's wrong. There's no father figure in her life. Right, so not too long ago, I was on holiday. I'm on a night out, and then in the taxi on the way home, I've got a girl sat next to me, guy sat next to me. Uh, off. Oh, this is Ibiza. Ibiza. We get back to <coughs> these guys' like hotel, then we go out skinny dipping. I climb aboard this randomer's boat, and then I'm one guy on the like front of it. And then the security find us shine a little light. They're like, get out. We got to the hotel room and then I start getting with this girl on the bed. Her. And the same guy. No, no, no. It's a different guy now. What about the guy that you What about him? He came up to the hotel room and then a different guy. Oh, another guy now. Another guy took okay. me and this girl to the bathroom and we're having a and like that. You know where he comes. And then I go back in the bedroom and then this a different guy. <laughs> Has let himself so in. Yeah, so this is third guy. This is third guy. No, it's a fourth. Oh, Arthur, it's a fourth. No, taxi guy, boat guy, third. hotel no, no, guy. No, it wasn't taxi guy. So this is third guy, and then he starts eating out after. Oh. <laughs> after two cops to be inside me, and also. Man, you have had, kind of had four different species of. And it's all bareback. Mm, yeah. yeah. All, uh, oh, so oh, that's why. Oh, so that's why you're saying Bruce might get some. That's, what, that's why she has the worst. Get tested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, everyone that was there that night needs to get tested. Even if you were a bystander, you gotta get tested. Do for the vine. What? That's good. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's through a drive through karma will always find a way. Do you want to get laid? Um, I'm good. Why? I'm, I'm straight. So am I. It's no, perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. You don't... Are you sure? It's really cute. Oh, yeah. So I'll now, take that. So you do want to get laid? Yeah. You're giving me mixed signals. Are you Thank asking you. for my Thank number? Thank you for laying me. Are you asking for my number? I'm all good. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. You know, that didn't really feel like mixed signals to me. Hey, what is your biggest pet peeve of men in 2024? <laughs> I ain't victim. Like, it's not it's cute. Because if I can't do it, why the f is you doing it? Especially when you're older. Mm. Every time there's always a reason. Oh, you know my mama did me. <laughs> oh, you know my leg. I'm like, what I got to do with me? So the fact that his mother passed and, and he's sad about it, <laughs> you have a problem with it. Oh, my God. You know how they say we got daddy issues, some when they mommy issues. Mm. No. So the fact that his mother is sick, you have a problem with that. No, I love the mom. And that's the problem with y'all women these days. Y'all are unempathetic to a man. Y'all say y'all want a man to be in touch with his emotions so you can goddamn show you affection and love. Then when he show you his goddamn uh, affectionate sides, you say that 
you're playing big though. You want you, you you said you want a man that's in touch with his feelings so you can be emotionally safe with him. But then you turn around and goddamn get mad at him because he cried about his mama. This is some bull. You know what I'm saying? These women don't know what they want. They want it hard but a little soft. They want that's tall but a little short. They want that's strong but a little weak on the goddamn second and third Sunday. They take y'all goddamn mismatch sock win back to the pot. Now. They're wanting a man that is everything at once. Sorry to break the bad news to women across the world, but that type of man just doesn't exist. So what would you call it if my daddy issues have caused my entire life to revolve around getting attention from guys? Uh, I believe the woke term is trauma, <laughs> but the medical term is called being a When we asked Dr. Blaine how he felt about his number of clients plummeting due to his honesty, he simply said, I'm going broke and you still couldn't pay me to lie. He kind of popped off with that one. What I want to do, and he never wants to see me, and he never wants to be with me. And when I want to hang out with him, he doesn't want to go. And he just all right, to... all right, damn, quit yapping, Jesus. You're my therapist. I'm paying you to listen. No, you're paying to hear my advice, not to trauma dump on me. Okay, fine. Then what's your advice? Here's my advice: try shutting the up more often. Dr. Blaine believes that the simplest answer is always the solution. I wish therapists were actually like this. It would definitely solve a lot of problems. I'm an artist. Okay. What do you do? I interview people. Why? Because I want to get to know them. Why do you want to get to know me? Um, I didn't. Your team reached out to mine. Don't cap. Let's not cap about that. Let's not put, that's not flex for the ground. Uh-oh. C-A-P. I honestly don't know how this came about. I'm not going to lie to you. Me either. Okay. Look. They had to show me who Bobby was. I Googled Damn. you on the way here, and I read something about you. I had to go on TikTok. I couldn't even Google I, you. Thank you. I was. I had to go TikTok search. I couldn't Google you. Google's not there yet. You're not there yet. But you'll be there. But you're on TikTok. All right. You can, you can leave now. This is my hotel. I paid for this month. You can leave now. See how that worked? Mm -hmm. Finally, someone had to put her in her place some way or another. Can you cook? No. Is that a problem? I can do other things. I can make a, like, a dragon with my hands, like that. But, see, that's a dragon. Uh, so, I can do that. <sighs> so, yeah. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? You lost me with that whole dragon thing. It was scary, wasn't it? <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> Are you always like this? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was the first and last date for them. What's the worst thing a man can do during The worst? I don't know. I've never had Neither have I. You guys aren't virgins. Yeah, we are. Ain't no way. Yeah. Why haven't you done it yet? We're very religious. We're saving ourselves. For, for marriage? Yes. Now be honest with me. When you come out to the clubs in Miami, especially, and you dress how you dress, do you think? I dress how I dress. Yes. What does that mean? Saying? I'm saying you exactly implying? how you are right now. Which means implying what? Just when you have your belly out, you're wearing tight clothing, and, and you're showing clothing. cleavage. Yeah. With cleavage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you not have your cleavage out? These are attached to my body. So of course. That she has. Breasts. That I have. Exactly. Of course, but you can help what you wear, though. Exactly. So finish your question. Do you think that when a man looks at you, he's thinking, this is somebody who I want to make my wife one day? Or is this just a girl who I could probably have fun with? Here's, I never put my an answer and think about what men I think. have never gone to the club to meet a man. I go to dance with my friends. Uh -huh. I don't want to find my husband as, at the club. Just when as much I... as a man doesn't want to find his wife at the club. So it's not to seek va validation at all from a man? When no. I get dressed, I never think about what a man wants. I think about how I feel. Ooh, I see. Let's hope that's true even though my lying meter is going off. What'd you just do? Uh, did you just cancel the ride? No. You just click cancel. I didn't. Yeah, you did. What you... My... My you, trip is like 20 minutes away, so like, I don't know if you can just like, drive. No, you literally just click, like, let me see your phone. No. I'm gonna pull over. This is my phone. Okay, well, show it to me, and because you literally just canceled the ride. I didn't cancel the ride. Okay, well, I'm not taking you for free, so. 
It's like 20 minutes away. I have an event to go to. An ev a what? An event to go to. I'm an influencer. You're an influencer? Yeah, like I have 80K on TikTok. Like, I don't understand. Like, you don't know who I am. Like, this is really important. I don't know. What do you do on TikTok? Are you like a dancer or something? Just shut up. You don't tell me to shut up. Like, just... You cancel the ride. I don't understand why you're not taking me. You're trying to get a free ride. I know I'm not trying to get a free ride. So... I'm going to call Uber. <laughs> you can call Uber. They're not going to... They're probably laughing because at you. Because, like, I don't think your car is enough for Uber. Why does your 80K matter in this case? No one cares about that. This is the real world. There is no such thing as a... There is no such thing as a... There is no such thing as someone who's bossy. Yeah, usually someone that acts like a bossy is going to say this. That's what they're going to say. It's like a drunk driver getting pulled over by a cop. The first thing they say is, I'm not drunk. Yeah, sure. You're not drunk. You're not bossy. You're not but and you're not a- So she's a combination of all three? Well, now we know to stay far away from that monstrous creature. Driver's license? I don't have to give you a driver's license to drive a car. This is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Okay. I have all the laws back here. Okay. So you're not gonna give me a driver's license? I'm not gonna give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. I'm, I'm traveling. I don't, I, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. In what state is that? Any state. It's common law, natural law. Okay. Constitutional law. Okay. You need to get a supervisor out here. I do? Yes. Okay. So what, I'm what law? Your so just like I'm requesting your driver's license. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. Sorry, Turner. A, she won't identify. She won't produce a driver's you, license. She's doing 58. Yes. Okay. I and do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Let, let, let my officer speak first, then I'll speak to you. Her vehicle stopped for speeding. 54 and 35 coming off the bridge. She asked me where the speed limit was saying that. It's before she got off the bridge. She actually did a U-turn. We were in the 35 zone. Mm -hmm. We pull over here. I introduced myself. I said, the reason, any reason why we're driving this fast is I say, you got your license. She immediately goes into, I don't need a license to drive the vehicle. Okay. And they said, I am traveling. Okay. So, you do need a license to drive the vehicle. And you do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. I do not. Well, you're wrong, but okay. I know common law, natural I don't law, care about common law. law. You're in the state of Florida. You don't. You're, you're in the state of Florida. Law. You're in the state it of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state It I'm does in. matter. I'm in the U.S. So, at this point in time, I need you to shut the vehicle off and step out of the car. I'm, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. You're gonna get out of the car. I don't think she knows what she's talking about, because the whole point of a driver's license is for you to drive a car. <laughs> that wasn't right at all. We all know what would have happened if the genders were reversed. I hear a lot of women, they get upset too, like, yo, I, um, I was in a relationship with him for five years and he wouldn't commit. And after we broke up, he was married in two years. I've maybe, maybe, it happens a lot. maybe, well, number one, maybe he wasn't in a place where he could support a wife and kids and the whole nine. Yeah. Or maybe you weren't the type of woman who inspired that confidence in him. Men are not stupid. Men are, we are kind of like you talked about last episode, men are basic. Yeah. Women are not properly evaluating themselves. They think because they show up with some makeup and a nice outfit that you're a good woman no, but what do you bring substance. to that man's life substance. when that man does again this is a man of caliber this is a man of substance when that man goes back into the spreadsheet and says my credit score was a 720 before we met what is it now mm. my bank account i had ten thousand dollars saved up before we met mm -hmm. how much do i have now mm -hmm. my energy level my stress level was x before we met what is it now any reasonable man is going to think, well, I'm signing up for it to continue going in this direction. Yeah. And for most women, it's this way. But you're a great woman. You don't cheat on them. You don't talk back or whatever the case may be. But you're not evaluating the rest yeah. of the stuff that men are actually thinking. Whether or not we can articulate it, we're thinking about these things. And we're doing that, man. Yeah. To sum it up, she wasn't wifey material. Might be sad, but it's true. It's a lot of tension here. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, shut your dry... <laughs> I'll get to you later. She's like, lubricate me! Yeah! There's a fire in there, I got nothing. What's, what's your name? Helga. Helga, nice yeah. to meet you, Helga. How long have you been single for? Uh, like two years. Two years, okay, all right. Though, so. I wasn't gonna say no, nothing about your <laughs> right now. <laughs>
She's like, it's not that dry, okay? I'm... What kind of guy are you into? I mean, they have to be kind and make money. How much money? Six figures, huh? <laughs> okay, well, how, how old do you want? I mean, I'm 37, so they have to be in their 40s. Hot. Hot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, let's bring that six figures down to like 22,000. <laughs> she's definitely asking for a lot there. That might be the reason she's single. No. Listen, bro, when it comes to some of these girls, bro, y'all gotta understand, bro, a lot of them girls can't afford their own bills. And what reason? Why do you have $5,000 in bills? $60,000 in bills a And they want a man to scoop in and take on that burden or help them with that burden. No. It looks like someone needs a financial advisor because why the f are you spending 60 bands in bills a year and you're asking for help? Listen, a lot of women only look for men to help them because they can't afford their own bills, bro. And it's hilarious. And this is what it looks like when you're trying to compete with the Jones. It's like, bro, y'all have to learn. You might have to give your car up. She probably drive like a Benz or a BMW, bro. I would not be surprised with a luxury apartment. <laughs> trying to keep up with the joneses and look cool stick to what y'all can afford because 60 bands and bills a year is insane yeah i fully agree with him because that is too much money that's being spent each year he might need backup for this one i'll take you out to eat we can get to know each other, have a good time, but as far as me taking you shopping and giving you money, I'm not doing that. Why would you just want to keep it all for yourself? What do you mean? Because I worked hard for this. Yeah. You wasn't with me when I was grinding, when I was broke. I'm not going to spend money on you until you're my girl. Is that a problem? I mean, yeah, kind of. Okay, so you can just get the then. Because you obviously a old me. And I don't old so leave. Whatever. Wow, it only took two seconds for her to switch because she saw the car. People have to learn to just stop posting on Instagram because you're gonna catch the heat if you do. When and how did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity when I was 18 in the bathroom at Chuck E. Cheese's. There's no shot. You're 18 at Chuck E. Cheese. That's that's something. I was else. working there. Oh. Excuse me, I was trying to make a living working there. Yeah, well, how's that working? Well, I don't work there anymore. Speaks for yourself. <laughs> At least, never mind, I'm not gonna say In the bathroom, what do you mean? When did you lose your virginity? I'm a virgin. <laughs> yeah. like, what? I ain't lose it. You know, I haven't lost my virginity because I simply don't lose. In the perfect scenario, how would you lose your virginity? Perfect scenario, you know, probably raise up a girl I'd have, say, come back to my place, and then <laughs> That's so romantic. It could work on you work on your mom could work on anyone <laughs> bringing my mom into this i mean is she bad she's 56 are you gonna call her old nah i mean is she yeah good <laughs> maybe i should take your mom instead of you honestly he probably should anything but that chuck e cheese queen i wanted to actually come in and and hear your perspective on what you think and a high value woman would be First of all, do you think you're a high value woman? I do. Okay, what makes you high value? I think, well, hold on a second. Wait a minute, hold on. I asked you a question. Can you answer my question, please? Yes, I will. I'm going to ask you real quick. What makes you high value? Hold on. Can you answer my question? I asked you a question first, please. Look, this is my show. So I'm going to ask you the question right now. And then okay, I'll. Okay, I see how this is so, going to go. Um, I think the the most important thing that makes me high value is 
my openness and my willingness just to be an understanding partner and a partner that's willing to grow with the individual that I'm with. So basically understanding? Yeah, I think understanding is the most important quality. Being understanding. Okay. All right. So I'm I just Thanks, asked you Thank to you. I just asked you to rework. Look, okay, now I'm talking, so now you have to be quiet. Okay. I'm sorry. Stop reading the comments and responding to everybody in the comments. Well, the nice people, I do want to say thank you okay, to the so nice comments. I appreciate it. You're not the star here. This is my show. I run this. I think you're a little intimidated, if I can be completely yeah, honest. I'm not intimidated by any woman. Okay. Me. That will never happen. I mean, it's his show after all. She should definitely respect him as the host. I feel like a lot of boys need to start being boys, though. Like when it comes to like the male roles, because a lot of like men nowadays are expecting princess treatment, and it's like okay, well, I want that energy just as much as, but just as bad as you do. Out of everyone in the world, literally everyone, she should be the last one talking. There's something about a girl getting fit and going to yoga class makes her think that she is spiritually enlightened. They'll just like start the class. They'll be like, if you are having trouble setting the motivation. Here's a powerful reading, and it'll just be some music quotes or something. I'm just going, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's fine to be spiritual. Awesome, because you have plenty to eat, and you're really pretty. And, no, they're in there because they're vain. That's why they like yoga class. They want abs. They want to sweat out all the wine they yeah. drank the night before. Yeah. They say the same stupid <laughs> Oh, I'm like a grandma. I go to bed at like 8, so we think, oh, she's not a <laughs> Oh, great. She's so going to bed early. And then they say trite little things like, I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. And anything you haven't heard of, they'll embrace. Isn't uh -huh. that beautiful? Like a Native American will spit in their face and they'd be like, oh, this must be part of their culture. It's beautiful. <laughs> but if you say, oh, me too. I love Jesus. And they're like, oh, my God, Jesus. He must be racist Organized and homophobic. Religion. Yeah, it feels like we live in an extremely confusing time now. Yes, I am a white girl with the fat ass. I know it's crazy. It's crazy. But I promise to you, it is real. Can someone tell me where I can find a decent, loyal, funny, good looking guy around here? Like, where? This is a question for the men. Boys, I have a serious question. Please take it seriously. When you're talking to a girl, right? You're gonna put her in one of the two categories. You either wanna hook up or you actually want her as a partner. You'd like a relationship with her. I would like to know where to find the relationship guys. Where are they? Are they at the gym? Are they at home playing video? Like, where are they? Please tell me where they are because every single guy that I talk to and that I meet only wants to hook up. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just not compatible with that. That's not what I am interested in. So if someone could point me in the direction of the men that want to get to know me and want a relationship, that'd be great. Women want the roller coaster, not the commuter train. You give a woman respect, predictability, consistency, stability, security, and they'll leave you for it or cheat on you because of it. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, make sure to watch another one. Till next time.